another strikeout. That's 16. And this is hit high and deep left field down the line. Home run. A walk off two run homer. Back up the middle. One run is in. Another runner is rounding third and heading for home, and he will score. And there's another drive. Is it a three home run day for Kanga? Yes, it is. Is this going to go? Unbelievable. I'm a woman can do it all. Hear her roar. At home in game 22 for the first of a five game homestand. In this game, they will be welcoming the Chompers. They're coming in with a 9 and 12 record. They're going to put Patrick Samplemore on the mound with a 1 and 1 record going up against I'm a Woman for the Peaks, her record 2 and 1. That's your pitching matchup. Let's check the lineups. Uh, top of the order is looking happy. They're all locked in and ready to go, so let's not mess with a good thing. Let's head out to the ballpark. Your lineups for the game for the Chompers, Swingins, King, Greenman, Roca, Bomso, Hewitt, Dunn, Thunderer, and Samplemore. For the Peaks, Trindle, Fatfuck, Puffy, Dingus, Presentable, Cynic, Trang, Vanderhiggs, and I'm a Woman will be on the mound. First at the plate for the Chompers will be Bertram Swingins. He comes in with a 317 average to this point in the year. And the first pitch from Woman misses off the plate away. It's 1 and 0. And that is fouled off 1 and 1 the count on Swingens the pitch. Into center field, Trindle with a slide can't make the catch. And that will drop in front of the sliding veteran for a base hit to start the game for the Chompers. So a runner aboard now as Flown King steps in. King sporting a 2.11 average through the first half of the season and awaits the 0-1 delivery. And that is hit high and deep to right field, back to the track, back to the wall. This one is in the second deck. And the Chompers off to a fast start, first on the board. That a two-run homer from Flown King, 427 feet, her fourth of the year. And it's 2-0 Chompers. Still no outs recorded in the inning. That will bring Mildred Greenman to the plate. Sporting a 271 average, she grounds it towards third. Fatfuck with a long throw. Gets it there in time. That'll be one away. Here's Philippe Roca. <clears throat> to bat next for the Chompers. One away in the inning. And that's a bouncing ball towards second. Dingus has it. And fires to first, two away. And that'll bring up Godfried Bomso. Ground ball to first, presentable gloves and steps on the bag to end the inning. But not before the Chompers score two and jump out in front on a two run homer from Flown King. We head to the bottom of the first, Peaks coming to the plate for the first time. And it will be Gerb Trindle to lead it off. His average to this point in the season a very respectable 467 to go along with eight home runs and 23 runs batted in. And he yanks that pitch foul. It's one and one. The pitch off the plate outside, two and one. Strike two as that one is right down the middle. The 2-2 pitch is high. Trindle works the count full. And he will take his base, a six-pitch walk. Issued to the leadoff man for the Peaks. Making way for Fatfuck to step in. And he takes the first pitch from Samplemore high. That is drilled out to right field, but it's hit right towards Roca, who makes the play. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Here comes Arlo Puffy to the plate. Eight home runs this season. And swinging the bat well lately. Had a two grand slam game earlier in the year. It's 0-1. And he takes his second one, a curveball for strike two. And this is lifted out into left field, and it will drop for a base hit. Bomso 
collects the ball and gets it into the cutoff man. The runners hold to first and second, which is where they stand for Spike Dingus. One down in the inning, and Dingus is going to send that one through the gap out into left field. This will be a base hit, and it will load the bases. Bases full of peaks as Kid Presentable steps in. A very dangerous hitter, only 333 this year in limited use. And he sends that pitch foul down the right side. It's 0-1. This is well hit. Center field. Will it go? Yes, it will. This is in the garden. A grand slam home run in the bottom of the first inning for Kid Presentable. And holy cow, that one got out of here quick. That's his third of the year. And it puts the Peaks on top by a score of 4-2. to two. Next up will be Bemused Cynic. And Samplemore will start him off with a ball up and in. Right down the middle with that one. And here's a bouncer hit towards Dunn. Over to first for out number two. Stepping in now, Kanga Trang, only a 133 average through this point in the year. That's going to change right here as that ball is against the wall. And this will be extra bases for Trang. She's into second with a two out double. Trang not getting much playing time yet this year. That's going to change for the last half of the season. Here's Klebel Vanderhiggs. And Vanderhiggs jacks one into the seats foul. And some lucky fan has a bloody lip. Fly ball left field, not especially deep. Calling for it and making the catch is Bomso, and that will end the inning. But the Peaks put four on the board. Courtesy of a grand slam off the bat of Kid Presentable. That'll take us to the top of the second and Spots Hewitt will lead it off. Now, don't judge me for saying sports. There are, there is somebody in this name named sport in this game named sports. So I'm not crazy for having misread that. Anyway, here's Spots Hewitt, and he grounds to the left side. Fat fuck with a diving stop. Gloves surf fires, and that's out number one. And that'll bring up Arsenio Dunn with one down in the inning. The first pitch to Dunn is in there for a strike. No balls, one strike to count. That is hit on the ground softly towards short. Sinek gathers it in and throws the first four out number two. The next batter will be Trigger Thunderer. Shortstop for the Chompers. And he will take the first pitch and hit it on the ground towards first. Presentable has it. And the Chompers go in order in the second. We head to the bottom half. Peaks coming to the plate. Leading off will be I'm a Woman. 214 her average on the year. Can swing the wood a little bit. And she grounds this one towards second. Dunn has it over to first for out number one. And we go back to the top of the Peaks order. It's Gerp Trindle with one away. And that is going to get through the right side. A base hit to right. Trindle is aboard with one out. As Fatfuck steps in. Fatfuck 0 for 1 today. And the pitch is a high fly ball into center field. Drifting back is the center fielder, Hewitt. He makes the catch on the warning track for out number two. That one went a long way. But it's going to result in an out. Stepping in now, Arlo Puffy had a single in his first at bat. And he lifts this one to the gap. This is going to make it to the wall. This will be extra bases. And rounding third and heading for home on the throw for, to second. And he's not going to make it. Trindle is tagged out at the plate on a good throw from second. That will end the inning. Still 4-2 to two as we head to the top of the third. Chompers coming to the plate. Due up first, Patrick Samplemore, starting pitcher. Sporting an 0.91 average. So he has hit the ball at least once. The 0-1 pitch is low for ball one. And here's the 1-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. The 1-2 delivery from IW is fouled back. And we'll do it all over again. Another 1-2 coming to sample more. Ground ball, right side, Dingus with a dive over to first, and that'll be the first out of the inning. 
We head back to the top of the Chompers order. It'll be Bertram Swingens in his second trip to the plate. Had a single in his first trip, and he takes strike one from Ima here. The 0-1 is in there for strike two. Here's the 0-2 delivery, missing high with the fastball, and it's one and two. Off-speed pitch catches him looking, calls strike three. First strike out of the day for Woman, and second out of the inning. That will bring Flown King to the plate. She is responsible for all the Chompers' runs. She had the homer in the first inning. And Woman starts her off with a strike. Wow, did you hear that thunder? It is really thundering here. The pitch off the plate away. One and one. And there's a ground ball. Fat fuck gloves fires out at first. That will retire the side. After two and a half, it's peaks four, chompers two. Four, five, and six do up for the peaks. We'll start it off with Spike Dingus, who singled in his first at bat. And he lets a perfectly good pitch go by there. This one off his hands, out towards first. King will handle the play herself. Four out number one. Kid Presentable hit a grand slam in the first inning. This is his second trip to the plate. And that one bounces off the plate, ball one. Line drive, left field, and caught by Bomso right at the wall. That'll be the second out. Here is bemused Cynic. Cynic takes the first pitch from Samplemore off the plate. That one is going to go just foul down the right field line. One and one the count. Bouncing ball towards short. Thunderer up and throwing. And that will end the inning. Heading to the top of four, Chompers will send Greenman to the plate, followed by Roca and Bomso. I know you had to hear that thunder. You had to hear that. That was close. If I suddenly disappear, it's because our power went out. Just be forewarned of that. Here's the pitch from Woman. Strike one with the curveball. And the 0-1 is hit back up the middle. This is going to fall into center field for a base hit. Trindle cuts it off and gets it in, but there is a runner at first with nobody out for Philippe Roca. Slider bounces up there. It's 1-0. One ball, one strike. The count on the right fielder. Back to the mound, Woman over to second for one, and they get the double play, emptying the bases. And Godfried Bomso will step in. Godfried batting two or 342 this year. He takes strike one from Woman to start this at bat. Here's the 0-1. Rocketed foul into the Chompers dugout. It's 0-2. And the fastball is in there for a called strike three to end the inning. Second strike out of the day for Woman. And that will take us to the bottom of the fourth. Kanga Trang to lead it off. Hit a double. Her first at bat. Im improving that average to 188 for the season. And she goes after the first pitch. And it's a weak line drive to Swingens. That'll bring Klebel Vanderhiggs to the plate for the second time today, and she will take strike one at the knees. The 0-1 is hit the other way on a line. Roca is there to make the catch, however, and that'll be the second out. I'm a woman at the plate for the second time today, hitless in her first trip, and she takes ball one from Samplemore. That one right down the heart of the plate, one and one. Off the end of the bat, this one will make it into the seats. A souvenir for some lucky fan. Oh, and a very generous inside corner there. Sends woman to the bench on strikes. We're going to head to the top of the fifth inning. Your score peaks four, Chompers two. And it will be Spots Hewitt at the plate first. In the top of the fifth, the pitch from woman. In there at the knees for strike one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Strike two as the curveball finds the zone. A pretty nasty piece of pitching from Woman there. The 0-2 oh 
is hit far and deep, and this is out of here. Another home run for the bad guys. This one, a solo shot that travels 415 feet. That's the second time Hewitt's touched them all this season. And it makes it a one-run game as Arsenio Dunn steps up to the plate. The pitch is hit in the air, but Dingus is there, bars. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Trigger Thunderer with one away, nobody aboard. One and one the count as the fastball misses up and out of the zone. And the 1-1 one, one. fouled off the end of the bat towards the dugout. One ball, two strikes the count. And another foul ball will do it again. Here's the 1-2. Fouled away again. We'll see if we can get him with this one. Another 1-2 coming. Hit on the ground towards right. Dingus cuts it off and makes the play to first for the second out of the inning. Patrick Samplemore will step in now, the starting pitcher. And the first pitch to him is popped up into left field. Trang coming on, makes the play, and retires the side. Chompers get a run back. They make it a one-run game as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Gerb Trindle will bat. He's one for one with a single and a walk. And he takes the first pitch the other way. Dunn ranges to his left, over to first. And the, the throw mishandled by Samplemore. And Trindle will be safe at first. Fatfuck stepping in now, sporting a 434 average. And this is well hit. Right center field, does it have the distance? It does, just over the fence in the power alley. Right center field, a two-run homer. This one travels 426 feet, his fourth of the year. And that makes it a 6-3 game in favor of the home team. Here's Arlo Puffy. Samplemore starts him off with a curveball that misses inside. Right down the middle, and he got underneath it. Fly ball, center field on the warning track. Hewitt makes the catch. Next up, Spike Dingus. Dingus bats with one out, nobody aboard. And he's at one and one. Top of the zone, one ball, two strikes. And that one misses up and away, even count. Protecting the zone, he sends a ground ball towards short. Thunderer gathers it in. And that will be the second out. Here is Kid Presentable. Swings and misses on a fastball. And this is well hit. Is it his second home run of the day? You bet it is. No doubt about it, as that was still going up as it crossed the Great Wall of Boulder. Presentable will touch them all for the fourth time this year and the second time today. And that makes the score 7-3. Here is Bemused Cynic with two down in the bottom of the fifth. He will bat. And he is... At one ball and one strike in the count. This is popped straight up into the air. The catcher doesn't even move. Just going to stand there and make the catch. Greenman retires the side. We're going to head to the top of the sixth. It's 7-3 peaks. Top of the, uh, the uh, excuse me, the chompers order coming up. Bertram Swingens will start this inning off in at the plate. Oh, God, I can't talk. Bouncing ball right side, Dingus Gloves fires out number one. And here is Flown King. She hit a home run in the first inning. And here she hits a bouncer to Cynic. And that'll be out number two as the throw is made to first. It will be the catcher, Greenman, batting with nobody aboard and two down in the inning. And she'll take a slider for strike one from Woman. Strike two as the fastball is right in there. And here's the 0-2. Little ground ball, Dingus with a dive over to first. Messed up the throw, not in time. And there will be a runner aboard for Philippe Roca. And this is a well hit ball into left field and this one is out of here. 
and it leaves the stadium altogether out onto runway five behind the park. How far did this go? 427 feet, Roca's third of the year. And it's a two-run game. Godfried Bomso will be the next batter to face woman. Two outs, nobody aboard, as the bases were just emptied on that runway shot. And quickly, Bomso behind 0-2. And, and sawed him off, broke his bat, and a little flare. Dingus has it. And that will retire the side after five and a half. It's seven to five peaks. Kanga Trang will lead it off. One for two with a double today. As she hit a hard ball into the power alley right center field. And she's ahead two and zero to Samplemore. And a little out in front of that one fouled it away. The two one is high. Three and one the count. And Trang, taking all the way, will take her base. Here comes Klebel Vanderhiggs, 423 her average. And she's ready to face Samplemore. First pitch from Samplemore high, ball one. And that one even higher, it's 2-0. and oh. That one will find the zone for strike one. Don't know why I swung at that. That was bad. That's going to be a double play. That didn't make me happy at all the way that came out. And here's I'm a woman. 0 for 2 today. And bats here with two down and nobody aboard. Thanks to the double play ball from Vander Higgs. Ooh, that caught the corner on its way by. And it's 2 and 2 now. Wow, he really likes that looping curveball that just drops over the corner of the plate. And he's getting the calls today. We're going to head to the top of the seventh. It's a two-run game. Peaks on top. Hewitt will lead it off for the Chompers. And the pitch from Woman is a strike. The slider dropping through. The 0-1 pitch is fouled away off the end of the bat. And that makes it 0-2, the pitch. Pops straight up into the air. And Vanderhiggs phases through Woman and makes the catch out on the grass. Making way for Arsenio Dunn. And he will take a two-seamer on the outside corner for strike one. Strike two as the curveball drops through bars. And the 0-2. Broke his bat and popped it into right field. Puffy coming in, makes the catch. Two down in the inning for Trigger Thunderer. Thunderer, no home runs, five RBIs this season, a 289 average. Not bad for an eight spot hitter. And the count even on him, one ball, one strike. The pitch, strike two, a nice curveball there. And woman will go back to the well. The one-two is fouled away. We'll do it again. Popped up in foul territory. Presentable going over. Will not have a play as that will reach the seats. And we'll have another one-two pitch. And this is a little looper. Flared out into left. Trang cuts it off to hold him to one base. But that will be a two-out single. And it will bring Patrick Samplemore to the plate. Sorry, I'm incorrect. Carlito Reyna will come in to pinch hit in the pitcher's spot here in the top of the seventh. With a runner at first, they want to capitalize. That killed somebody. I think it hit that guy in the crotch. That's got to hurt, but at least you got a souvenir out of it. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball, left side, fat fuck, gloves, fires, out number three. And that will take us to... Our seventh inning stretch. It's a beautiful day for a ball game, for a ball game today. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning. The top of the Peaks order will be coming to the plate. They lead by two. And it will be Gerp Trindle to lead it off. And he will let the first pitch go by, strike one. Lifted into the power alley, right center field. It bounces short of the track. And goes to the wall. Trindle will be in there with a leadoff double to start the inning. 
And he is aboard for Fatfuck. One for three with a two-run homer earlier in the game. His fourth of the year, batting 440 overall on the season. And here's a drive to center field. This one is garden bound, no doubt about it. That is into the garden, another home run, second of the day for Fatfuck, and another two-run shot. This one travels 421 feet. His fifth of the year, second of the game, and it's nine to five. What a way to make a living. I think I've made that joke a couple of times, but I'm gonna continue to do it every time that's the score. Here's Arlo Puffy. Ball one away. Back up the middle, line drive to center field. Coming on is Hewitt and makes the catch for out number one. Spike Dingus one for three today. And he lets that one go by on the outside corner, 0-1. And, and another line drive, same spot, center field, Hewitt, same catch. And that's two away. Here's Kid Presentable, two home runs today, driven in five runs, looking for the hat trick here. And he will let that one go by as it's a little high. And this is driven. Right, left center field, does it have the distance? It does. A hat trick for Presentable, his third of the day. This one a solo shot, 396 feet. And it is 10 to five. Stepping in now, bemused, cynic, hitless in three trips to the plate today. And that's not gonna change here as he pops this one up to the middle infield. And calling for it and making the catch is the second baseman done. And that ends the inning. We head to the top of the eighth. It'll be Swingins, King, and Greenman coming up for the Chompers, who are now down by five. The third baseman, number two. And here is Bertram Swingins. One for three today with a single. He pops this one into right field. And Puffy turns around and says, look at me, Mom. I caught a ball. That's one away. Here's Flown King. The pitch is fouled away, strike one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And that's right back to the mound. Woman knocks it down and throws to first. That will be out number two. Mildred Greenman will step in with two away in the inning. And nobody aboard. The pitch is off the plate. 1-0. Nice change up. Catches the corner. It's 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Line drive, presentable, leaps and pulls it out of the air. That will retire the side. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. The Peaks coming to the plate up by five. Kanga Trang will start it off one for two with a double and a walk and she will face a new pitcher for the Chompers and it will be Lacey Blake. Blake with a 3.42 ERA this year and 20 strikeouts on her record. This is lifted into left center. Coming over is Bomso to make the catch. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Klebel Vanderhiggs stepping in now with one away and she hits this off the end of the bat. And this will be a fly ball to right. Roca pulls it in. Two down, four woman. And they give her one right down the pipe. She knows what to do with that. Bouncing ball back to center field, base hit. And we'll head back to the top of the order. Gerp Trindle to bat with two outs and woman on first. And he's going to send this one all the way to the wall, it looks like. And woman doesn't move particularly well. She will hold it third rather than trying to score, but that will be a double. And Fatfuck in line for his trifecta. And they're not going to pitch to him. With first base open, they will not let the guy who's gone yard on him twice swing the bat, and I can't say I blame him. So the free pass issued to Fat Fuck. He will trot down the line, and they are loaded for Arlo Puffy. And Puffy looking to make them regret their decision to get to him. He takes two balls off the plate. That's right down the middle, and this is salami bound. No doubt about that one off the bat. A second grand slam of the game for the Peaks. 
And how did that work out for you, manager of the Chompers? You're going to put Fat Fuck on and pitch to Puffy? He's going to make you pay with his ninth homer of the year. That one good for four more runs, and it's 14 to 5. Dingus bats now, sends a line drive to center. This will be caught by Hewitt to end the inning, but not before the peak score four bars. We head to the top of the ninth. Chompers with a lot of work to do. They trail by nine, and they're down to their last three outs. I'm a woman ready to complete the game. She's only thrown 75 pitches to this point. Very efficient work. And gets a ground ball to the first baseman there. Presentable steps on the bag, one down. Next in will be Bomso. And they put a two-seamer over the outside corner for strike one. Right back to the mound, woman gloves, fires, two down. Spots Hewitt will be the batter. And he will take strike one. Fouled away, it's 0-2. And, and Woman looking to put an exclamation point on it. Broke his bat and popped him up. Vander Higgs right next to the plate will make the catch. And that will end the game. The Peaks put another check mark in the win column. Five runs on seven hits. One error for the Chompers. 14 runs on 14 hits. No errors for the Peaks. Very efficient use of base runners by the Peaks in that one. Your winning pitcher, no surprise, I'm a woman, goes the full nine yards, strikes out two. Gives up three home runs, but only five runs altogether. Samplemore will get the loss with six innings pitched. He gave up three home runs, struck out two, and walked two. No surprise, Kid Presentable, your first star with three home runs and six RBIs in the game. Fatfuck goes two for four with two home runs and four RBIs to get the second star. And Puffy, three for five with a home run, a double, and four RBIs himself gets the third star. Those three batters responsible for all of the Peaks scoring today. And a big win at home to start the homestand for the Peaks. <laughs>